For this video, I really, really, really had to channel my inner detective because Essence has not been like straightforward with what is actually their new update? What is coming out from Essence for spring, summer 2024? I have been digging, I've been searching, I have been doing the things and I have tried to compile a list of new products. I don't know what if this is going to be in store, what's going to be online. I don't know if this is everything, if, there, if there's going to be more, but I did my best and this is what we can talk about so far. And there are some exciting products here, so I do just want to talk about it. So let's get into it. All right, so we have different Essence websites where I actually found some information. Then there was also Amazon, the German Amazon that had some products there. Um, that I will not be able to purchase from there. I cannot purchase this anywhere just yet being in the Netherlands, but we just we just we need to talk about this. All right, let's start. There is a new Essence Hello Good Stuff Serum. This is a skin repair serum. Um, it has ceramide and oat. I don't have much um, I don't have a lot of information about it. I personally, I don't think I've tried any Essence skincare. I don't know if I really, really am interested in it. Uh, I would have to be able to read the ingredients, but I'm not really someone who tests a lot of different skincare. I try to keep it pretty simple, try to stick to certain products. So I don't think that I'm going to be trying this, but I'm guessing it's pretty affordable. And on the photo of the Amazon page, it looks Quite expensive actually, I don't think it's gonna be that expensive. I don't know what's going on on the German Amazon. It, it's a bit strange. We also have this Essence Makeup Buffer Brush. 14 euros, I don't think this is gonna be the price in store. I don't, I don't, I really don't think that's gonna be the case. I cannot imagine. I think this is probably gonna be five, six euros. Um, I have to say, I have quite enjoyed a few Essence brushes in the past. Sometimes they do things that actually work quite well for a good price. This buffer brush actually looks quite good. I don't think I really need this in my life, but it looks quite cute. It could be a thing, could be good. Then we also have a blush and highlighter brush. Also looks quite good. Doesn't look exactly like my shape, but I would have to see it in store. I have to say with Essence, I always wait a little longer. Sometimes I don't even buy a lot of things. Um, with Catrice, there's a lot of trust. I have tried a lot of Catrice products that I've really, really liked, and I do generally like a lot of their quality. Essence, I'm always a bit like, mm, gonna have to see that in store, gonna have to like smell it, because maybe it has a weird scent to it. Like they make it just a little cheaper, and sometimes it just pushes me like over the edge of not buying it. But that brush looks pretty good. Then we have the Essence Dewy Eye Gloss Liquid Shadow. Catrice also had this liquid gloss, kind of like Vaseline in a tube. That is really like this editorial makeup look. Not really my thing. This one seems to be like clear pinky. There also seems to be sets of three. I don't know. This is not an Amazon reaction video, but it just... It's 9 euros and then you have a three pack. It's so strange. Like why, why would you need three of these? How many people, do three people even want this? How many people are actually gonna buy it? I'm not gonna buy it, this is not for me. There is no world in which I am interested in an eye gloss. No. And then we have a powder brush, could be good. Same type of style and handle. I believe we also had one other brush somewhere here. Yes, an eyeshadow brush. I don't know, could be that there are more brushes in this line, but or that they are just revamping all the brushes. This eyeshadow brush looks pretty cute. I'm sure it's gonna work well. I have some Essence eyeshadow brushes, like these flat style brushes that I actually quite enjoy. All right, something that I am interested in. Um, this is from one of the Essence websites. I I think this is from the English, um, the EU Essence website. We are getting some Meta Glow Multi Reflective Lip Gloss. Oh no, 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 no. This is from the German. This is from the German one. <laughs> I'm trying to read it. It is German. So it is holographic. They say holographic lip gloss. Here we have three shades on this page, but when you um, scroll down, you can see that there's zero one to zero four. Um, 
and on the deeper skin tone you see the undertones the best but it's still it's still a little hard to see it seems to be kind of like a nude a light pinky i don't know a golden a golden a peachy a pinky i think this is going to be shimmery gloss it's going to be a little bit prismatic and not exactly holographic i did try the holographic nail polish from catrice and that was actually holographic but the holographic highlighter the space glam highlighter this is just kind of like a dual chrome slightly leaning multi-chrome highlighter so it's always a question with these hollow products if it's actually gonna be hollow like if it's actually gonna be hollow like you can't really tell from these photos i don't think these are gonna be holographic lip glosses they look pretty cute though might try a shade just to see how sparkly it is if it's a nice formula, it looks pretty interesting. I might try the peachy one or the pinky one. This is an option, this is an option. Then we have the Slim Stick. We have two shades here on the website. Baby Got Blush and Over the Nude. Just looking at the listing, but if you scroll down, then you see that there are 10 shades. There are some nude shades, some reddish shades, a little bit corally, a pinky shade. Goes from 101 to 202. I don't really understand how they got these shade numbers. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe this already existed. I have to say with uh, Essence, I'm a little bit more out of the loop, even though I always like to see what is coming out. This seems to be a slim matte lipstick, probably going to be a long wearing. Yeah, a long lasting lipstick in a matte finish. In pure nude and matte finish. What does that mean? Are there different finishes? Is it like a satin and a matte? I don't know. This I could try. Like there, this could be interesting, but it kind of depends on the scent. Because sometimes essence just smells a little plasticky, just smells a little cheapy. So mm, I'm a little unsure personally. I think if I wait until this gets into store, that could take some time. I think this is gonna show up on Booty Shop way before that, so I might like order one and just see. Could be an interesting line. Like I've tried lipsticks from Essence that I have liked. Then we have Blush Crush, a blush with silky soft powder texture. Um, we only see one shade here, Cool Berry. I'm, I'm thinking there are gonna be more shades. I don't know if I'm super interested in this. I know that there are blushes by Essence that are quite nice quality. I used to have them, but I did declutter them because they didn't really get me excited because of the packaging and just the vibe. It's a nice quality product, the Essence blushes, but I just wasn't grabbing for them. For me, the packaging and the vibe and it not looking or feeling cheap it just does a lot. It does a lot for me, so uh, I would have to see. Maybe if someone raves about this, maybe if I see a video where someone's like, this is the best blush ever, I might try it, but I don't really like buying products that I kind of already know that are not gonna be like, that are not really gonna excite me. I don't know if this is exciting enough. Then we have the Jelly Grip Hydrating Primer. This is a primer for even fresh looking skin and long lasting makeup. Of course, this is gonna be a dupe of the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. I've never tried a primer. I don't really feel the need to try a primer like this. Now we have a brow lifting gel set. Eyebrow gel for a long lasting eyebrow lift with a spoolie. I like an eyebrow gel with a color. That's just what works for me. That makes me happy. That just does it for me. I like a little bit of a fluffed brow, like a little bit of a volume added to the brow. I don't really need uh, the, the freeze stick your brows straight up kind of situation. I don't really need that. Don't really think I'm gonna buy this. Chances are slim. Then the Meta Glow Color Changing Lipstick. A lipstick with color changing effect in delicate pink. Doesn't really interest me. I'm guessing that this sells really well for them because they keep coming out with it over and over and over again. In limited edition collections and in their regular collection. I just got a Chili Vanilli one that gives a delicate pink glow to the lips and it's not like super crazy special. It's fine. I guess I enjoy it, but it's not really something that I need another one of. For sure not. Because there are going to be others, and there are going to be others, and there are going to be others. One is enough for now. 
Then we have a skin tint. This is a bit of a vague one because there's only one shade here, is shade 20. It's a hydrating skin tint with a light to medium coverage and SPF 30. And then when you see the arm swatches, there's like a 10 to 150. I am thinking this not this is not gonna be in store. Like all of these shades are not gonna be in store. They're probably gonna pick four or five shades. Probably gonna be in the light Asia range, light to medium, knowing essence, knowing Catrice. I feel like if this is in store, there are not gonna be that many shades, but they have deeper shades, apparently. That's go that are gonna come out. Then we have the Comic Queen Dramatic False Lash Effect Mascara. A mascara with volume and lengthening effect for dramatic eyelashes. This is a black mascara. I have a feeling that they are gonna be launching quite the campaign for this. I have seen some things like Comic Queen. Like they're gonna do something in Berlin with this mascara. I don't know. They're gonna do this big reveal launch, but then on another website is already there. I think this is a cute looking mascara but i can't say much about it also i don't really wear black mascara and i'm sure this is not gonna be in a brown shade um who knows who knows i'm not gonna try it then we have the magic filter glow booster once again we only have one shade in the listing but then when we look a little further we have a different shades there seems to be if i'm not mistaken if i'm not interpreting this wrong uh, there seems to be 10 to 70 and then it's this kind of like charlotte tilbury glow booster kind of dupe and um, we already had one from catrice this one is the soft glam face filter fluid now essence is also coming out with one i feel like basically every brand right now has this product like it took some time the charlotte tilbury one has been around for a little bit but at this point Almost any brand has a version of it. You can buy it for really, really cheap, but also really, really expensive. Dior is coming out with something very similar to this. And now we have Essence, like one of the most affordable brands in Europe, at least, that is also coming out with this. I might try, I might try this one. I might give it a go. I will have to see. Um, I feel like if I do an Essence trying on Essence video, it's gonna be a smaller video with just a few lip products and a face product, maybe. I feel like there's still a lot missing. Like we haven't seen any eyeshadows really, only the eye glosses. We haven't really seen highlighters. Wait, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing something because we also have this Charlotte Tilbury poof style uh, situation, highlighter situation that was also on the German Amazon. I don't really know what the deal with that is, how many shades there are going to be, how expensive it is going to be, but that is an interesting product. It's not something that I need, but it's something that could be interesting to try just to see if that could be good from the brand Essence, because I have so many poof style highlighters, so many, but the Essence one could be interesting. I'm going to do a last check to see if I'm missing something. All right, there are two things I almost missed. One is a banana powder, um, a banana loose power mattifying fixing bacon, bacon, baking, baking with sponge. I'm not really someone who uses a banana powder. I am neutral to cool toned, so that really doesn't work on me. But if you're warm toned, you're looking for a baking powder that is yellow toned. This could be something. And then we have the Essence Baby Got Glow Liquid Highlighter in 010 and 020, I'm guessing. So a lighter pinky champagne, it seems, and a deeper pinky champagne. Uh, this could be interesting. There are some options here. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do a dedicated video. I don't know about Essence yet, but I feel like there's still more coming, but I just wanted to show you what I found so far. All right, and this is gonna be everything for today's video. I've told you everything I know. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you're most excited about. I always like to chat with you about these things. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe, and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.